In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to manage projects inside of your monday.com CRM system. In this video, I'm gonna be going over which board to use and how to use the columns on that board, how to add additional columns, how to remove certain columns, and a few other additional admin bits and bobs to make managing your projects as easy and effective as possible. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Before we get started, if you are signing up to monday.com, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link down below. It really does help me out. So without further ado, let's get straight into this quick tutorial. So once you log into monday.com, of course you're going to come to the home screen. Now in order to manage projects inside of your monday.com system, what I recommend doing is going up to the workspaces up the top left hand corner here, and then what we wanna do is we want to add a new board. We want to add a board template that monday.com has provided. I think that is the most suitable and the best way of going ahead and getting started with managing projects. So I press the add button up the top left hand corner here and then we wanna to go to choose from templates. From the template center, what we wanna do is go ahead and select the single project. As you can see, it's on the right hand side here, but it is liable to change. So if you can't find it, use the search bar in the top left hand corner and just search single project. As you can see, there are two options here. We want the single project, not the single marketing project. Um, and then just go ahead and press the use button and this will go and load up now. So now our single project board has loaded up. This is the absolute best place to manage any projects that you have inside of your monday.com system. I'm gonna walk you through each of the different columns, um, how to add columns, remove columns as well, and then I'll walk you through these subcategories as well. So firstly, the first column we've got is the task name, or the name, so it's literally just task one, task two, whatever the task is, you can just give it your own name, so I'm just gonna call this example. As you can see, really, really simple to use. Moving on from there, we've got the owner. So who is essentially in charge of this task? So you can assign a task to a different person inside of monday.com. I'm just gonna assign it to myself as an example. And then from there, we have subtasks. Now subtasks is a brilliant, brilliant feature that allows us to manage tasks within tasks. I'm sure you're familiar, you've got a big job, lots of little jobs need to be completed in order to accomplish it. Using the subtask area is where we can manage those smaller jobs. Again, you've got a name, an owner, and we've also got a status and a due date. So the status is the same here as it is here. So we've got three different current options, but we're also able to add additional status levels as well. We can select the add slash edit. We can add a new color and then give it a name as well. So that's really, really simple. We've also got the due date as well. So when is this particular task due? So I could select next next week, for example. So they, these are subtasks, they're really useful, really, really easy to use. Moving on from the subtask area, we've also got the status, like I've mentioned, again, start working on it and done, and we can add and edit additional labels. We've also got priority, so the priority of the task, so high, medium, or low. Again, we can add additional priority options if we would like to, and it's exactly the same principle as status. Moving on from there, we've got our timeline. So when does this need to be completed by? So we can select a different date range for our, um, for our project needing to be completed. So we can select two days or we can just select one day. It's entirely up to you. You can select a relevant timeline. From there, we have dependent on now. Unfortunately, this is a paid column. So we, as a, as a free user of monday.com, I do not have access to this. If you are using the paid version of monday.com, you will have access to this field. But if you're on the free version, just use the drop down menu and select the delete button. We can't use it, so I don't think there's any point in having it on our project board. So just press delete, and as you can see, that has now been removed. We've got costs, so it's very easy to just change the value of the cost of the task if that is applicable. And then from there we have related files. So this is a clever feature where we can associate files with our particular tasks. So if you press add slash manage files, you can upload from your computer, associate from a link or from Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive. And we can also create documents inside of monday.com as well. So it's really easy to manage any documents and upload them. For example, if you're using Google Drive, you'd select that sign into Google Drive and then select the document that you'd like to associate with the task. Very simple and very, very useful. Moving on from there, we've got the plus button on the far right hand side and this is where we can go ahead and add additional columns. Now this is where we can start customizing our single project board to make it very, very applicable to our projects, okay? So press the add column button, go to more columns down the bottom 
and feel free to work your way through each of the different column options. There are so, so, so many different options. It takes me forever to go through them, but go through them all, find out which one's gonna work for you, which ones will be helpful. Anything with a star is part of the paid version, unfortunately. So unless you are on the paid version of monday.com, you won't have access to that, but there are loads and loads of free ones. So go through, all you need to do is press add to board, and then that will add to the board and you can start using that new column. Now I've gone through the columns. We've also got our subcategories. So we can change the name of these if we would like to. We can use the drop down menu on the left hand side where we can collapse the groups, collapse all groups or this group, expand all sub items, collapse all sub items. We can rename it, change the color if we would like to, export to Excel or delete and archive if we need to. Now you may not need all four subcategories as you can see here we've got planning execution launch and closure so if you need to get rid of one just use the drop down menu and go to the delete button press delete and then you can see that has now been removed from the single project page you can drag and drop very easily from the different stages so as you can see i've got my example task here and i can just drag it and drop it to the execution if i need to and again, I can drag and drop it to launch. Depends how you wanna manage your projects like this. It is open to interpretation. The board is very helpful, but obviously with the customization and you can have your own processes and procedures that will help you manage your projects. So hopefully you are now familiar with how to easily and effectively manage projects inside of monday.com. And I'll see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now fully set to manage any project inside of your monday.com CRM system. If you have enjoyed this video or it's been at all helpful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you do have any questions at all, you are more than welcome to either drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.